हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द स्ट्रक्चरल जियोलॉजी एम सी फॉर वेरियस जियोलॉजिकल एग्जाम्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 22 सो लेट्स बिगिन विद अवर क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 थे इज विद विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ट्रांसफॉर्म फॉल्ट इज एसोसिएटेड सो इन द ट्रांसफॉर्म फॉल्ट यू हैव द फोर्सेज विच आर एक्ट पैरल एंड इन द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन एंड दीज फॉल्ट are found along the mid oceanic ridges now you can say that in the mid oceanic ridges we have the divergent plate boundary then how it is possible so in actual condition let me erase it first so in actual condition mid oceanic ridges are something like this okay so these are the spreading areas so in this case you have find that some planes are there which are actually facing the transform fault as i have marked from the blue color okay so now you can correlate the transform fault with the mid oceanic ridge so here first option will be our right answer now next question is which of the following is complementary to the dip either strike head rake or pitch so if you will make a normal diagram for any fault so it will look something like this now this is the horizontal surface and this is the angle what you known as the dip and this angle is known as your head h a t e and this is known as the complementary to the dip so we can define that head is the angle between the fault plane and the vertical plane while dip is the angle between the fault plane to the horizontal plane so here second option will be our right answer now next question is how the normal to the horizontal plane is represented on a stereogram so as you can see here a stereo net is showing now it is asking the normal to a horizontal plane so horizontal plane will lie along the great circle or we can say that is the primitive circle and the normal means the 90 degree angle so definitely the 90 degree angle we will count from anywhere it will lie at the center of circle okay so here third option will be our right answer that it is a point at the center okay uh, not the fourth one it is the third option will be your right answer now 19th question is which is difficult to observe in the field there are different unconformities in the options like angular unconformity non conformity disconformity and para unconformity so if you will look at the angular unconformity is a, it is very easy for detection as we will find rock something like this if you will look at the non conformity it is also easy for recognize as we will get the very different lithology in the low lying and upper rocks then if you will look at the disconformity it is also a relative easy than that of para conformity as in the disconformity you will find that there are horizontal layers and above that there are another horizontal layers but we will find a relative eroded surface in between them so it will be disconformity while if we talk about the para conformity there are the horizontal layers and there are above also the horizontal layers and the unconformity or the time gap is also horizontal so you have very much difficulties in found the in found a time gap which is horizontal within the horizontal layers that's why fourth option will be our right answer now next question is what is the condition for forming a normal fault 
either sigma 1 is horizontal sigma 1 vertical sigma 2 vertical or sigma 2 horizontal so for any condition of the normal fold you should have a sigma 1 which is vertical now if you knows that a normal fold will leads to the crustal lengthening that means crust will increase in the length so if you have a box like this and if you want to increase the length of this definitely you have to pressure it in this direction sigma 1 vertical so you can correlate it with your uh, general common sense that this is for the crustal extension while for the crustal thickening or crustal contraction you have to do the sigma 1 horizontal which is the condition for reverse fault so here second option is our right answer now question number 21st is the addition of extensional component across a shear zone produce here it is saying that you have a shear zone shear zone means you have the stress something like this okay shearing stress then if there is introduction of extensional component that means we are talking a structure something like this okay so this is the stress shear zone in this region and in this region while in this region you have the extensional component so this is known as the trans tension transform plus extension and hence first option will be our right answer now here one thing is also to be noticed in such a condition where you have the trans tension condition you will have a structure which is known as flower structure if you want to know more about the flower structure just click on the i button on the above and you will get a separate video for the flower structures related to the trans tension and transpression now 22nd and last question is the chocolate tablet structure is a type of so chocolate tablet structure is a type of boudinage and as you know how the boudinage looks you have a layer like this and because of deformation it break down into the several parts like this so this is the boudinage type of a structure but when it breaks down into the into two directions like this then it will be called as the chocolate tablet structure so here first option will be our right answer it's all about for today in the next video we will see some next questions thank you